Gangs are often thought of as an issue only in the city, but now an Illinois congressman is trying to draw attention and resources to the problem in the suburbs. CBS 2's Joni Lum explains what's being done to make sure the streets are safe. You might not see them in the suburbs every day, but federal authorities say gangs are moving to the suburbs, and this is the kind of firepower they bring with them. Easy to conceal, sawed-off shotguns and automatic weapons that can penetrate a cop's bulletproof vest. Gangs might be dealing heroin in a neighborhood near you. It's not just that they are a group of local toughs. Nearly every one of these gangs has strong links to an international cartel. Congressman Mark Kirk is calling on the federal government to help suburban police agencies fight gangs. They say Chicago gang members are expanding their drug businesses and recruiting younger children, kids from ages 10 to 13. Federally, we won't even prosecute juveniles. So they tend to use them as their drug couriers, as their weapons couriers, and now a lot more um, predominantly as their shooters, too. What these children see on the way home from school is they see all these gang members hanging at the corner, and they see the glorified life that they live with the fancy car, the gold chains, and hanging around at the corner. Marcio Rodriguez was a drug courier for a Chicago gang. He got out, got married, and now teaches kids his son's age to stay away from gangs. And he helps parents recognize the signs. Know who your children's friends are. Know where your children are going. Know who they associate with. Those, those are the key factors. These shirts were confiscated in gang arrests. Rodriguez says athletic apparel often reflects gang membership. Their wardrobe changing just to one color is very important to look for. Lake County authorities say more than 3,000 gang members operate north of Lake Cook Road. They say while heroin use has doubled in Cook County in the last decade, Diane Derrick, it has quadrupled in some of Chicago's collar counties. Sobering statistics. Thanks very much, Joni. CBS News' Joni Lum reporting from the newsroom.